Do you ever wish the zombie apocalypse would just happen already? So we forget all the frivolous bullshit that our world has to offer and we're forced to focus on what's really important? Nobody cares how many likes you have on Instagram! Also, zombies are eating your face. <laughs> How you doing everybody? I'm Matt Green! And welcome to the second episode of The Matt Green Show. What did, what did you think of the first one? Was it okay? Hey, do you like my new hoodie? It's so vibrant and fantastic! And if your opinion is anything other than yes, uh, then spoiler alert, you're wrong. Yeah, op opinions can be wrong. Uh, when they're not... when they're not mine. But come on though, this... this is a hot fire! Out my bag. So what kind of show do we have for you today? Thanks for asking, random imaginary person. Well, maybe I'll tell you a silly anecdote. I'll give you some life advice because I I know how to I know how to life. I'm the pinnacle of success. Maybe I'll recommend some stuff for you. Maybe I'll get a little weird. Let no, let's be real. I'm I'm most certainly gonna get um. Uh, Super weird. How do you guys feel about fisting? And I'll and I'll do some other shit. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm 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 still figuring this out. So come with me on the journey to Silly Town. That's where I want to live. What am I talking about? Okay, so we've all seen this type of guy. These big jacked. Gronky dudes who just lumber around the gym and don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on them for being jacked It takes a lot of hard work to get in that kind of shape But I do have a problem with that dude who basically shows up to the gym Naked when I look around the gym. I don't want to see nips like dude I know you're proud of your body and you want to show it off, but that spaghetti string tank tops gotta go We're in public keep your nipples to yourself side note and so I'm not singling out guys. I, I think nipples in general should be kept to private time for men and women. The exception being like swimming. And yeah, I do think that men and women should have the option to swim topless if they choose to do so. But that's it. Other than that, get your nips out of my face. There's plenty of tight fitting clothing that covers you up and doesn't impede your exercise. More workout, less Tits out. Nipples are like nature's treats. You know, save that shit for after dinner. What? But I'm not done. I'm not just irritated with the nipplesmen. I also have a problem with the guys who are incredibly and unsettlingly loud at the gym. And yeah, often there's overlap here with the uh, with the nipple crew. Lifting heavy things is hard. The body requires a lot of oxygen to do so. So breathing. Breathing is key. But here's what I don't get. When has breathing ever required you to uh, activate your vocal cords? The answer to that riddle is never. Don't believe me? Let's try it out. Yeah, yeah, no uh, no activation of the vocal cords on that one. Myth, uh, myth busted. So why the fuck are these guys so loud? I mean, it's just as easy to be quiet. I mean, uh, it's actually easier because you're doing one less thing with your body. Like, are you shitting yourself? Did you jizz your pants? Is it some combination of the two? Did you just release all of your body fluids all at once? Because even that doesn't require you to sound like an elephant giving birth. <laughs> I, I assume that's what it sounds like for large animals to make babies. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. So here's an idea. How about you shut the fuck up? I promise you'll make everyone's day better. And also clean yourself up. Cause there's no way after lifting something that heavy that your intestines didn't crawl into your underpants. Okay, thanks. So me and my buddy Colin, name drop, play the game League of Legends. Why? Because we hate ourselves. I mean, it's the only reason anyone ever plays that game, really. It's kind of like voluntarily deep-throating um, a giant rubber penis with your butthole. Side note, the next time you're thinking about experimenting with anal, don't, don't bother. Just play League of Legends. It's, uh, it's the same thing. What the, what the, what is happening? Anyway, one night we were playing a game, and this one kid was being super fucking salty. I mean, he thought he was sick. 
he thought he was the best part of the tit. You know, like a like a big human underboob. But we were dumping on his face and laughing about it, as you do. I can't remember the specifics of the game, but at one point, this little sack of shit tries to make a play, but he gets out fucking played uh, right out of his little uh, Batman underwear. And I don't even feel bad about making fun of this kid because he was being such a toxic fucking piece of shit in the chat the entire time. Like he was talking shit all game. Like there's nothing worse than when someone sucks at something and they're still talking shit to you like they're the best at it. I've been referring to him as a child this entire time and here's why. Because after he gets out the fuck played, he types in the chat, you're, you're lucky my mom was on Netflix, otherwise you guys would be fucked. Oh, honey, that is the most adorable shit talking I think I've ever heard. Don't get me wrong, I love a good shit talking while gaming. It's arguably the best part of gaming at all. But here's a tip, if you're trying to call someone out, or if you're trying to puff yourself up or whatever, maybe don't mention that you can't do a thing because, because your mom's getting in the way. I mean, you kind of killed the uh, tough guy act when now all I can think of is that this might be your last game before bedtime. You just, you just you just wait till my mom gets off Netflix. <laughs> just wait. Your shit talking might need work, but your Spider-Man PJs are on point. <laughs> Guys, it's okay if you don't have a huge wiener. Take it from an expert. Uh, I used to work at Subway, so <laughs> in my experience, uh, the ladies always go for the six inch. But to the dudes who have a massive slab of meat in their pants, may you be blessed with the deepest of vaginas. Otherwise, your life is going to be like trying to put um, a greyhound in a hamster cage. If the meaning of life is to procreate and make more life, then literally everything we do is motivated by sex. Of course, the alternative is that nothing means anything, and ultimately there's no point to anything ever. If you've ever had to take a shit immediately after leaving the shower, then you know the true meaning of defeat. When I drink coffee, my pee smells like coffee. You know how when guys wake up, they sometimes get a boner in the morning? Well, that happens to me as I'm falling asleep. It's less morning wood and more of a nightstand. Have you ever been so tired in bed and had to pee so bad that you just think, how bad could the mess be? I drool in my sleep, and now that I have a face mop, when I wake up I have to scrub my face with a towel. So I don't just get uh, morning breath, I get morning face. Have you ever wanted to eat a lot just so you have a big satisfying poop? Yeah, yeah me either. <laughs> That's weird. People keep saying be yourself, but what if you're just the worst? Have you ever stopped to think about how many farts you've had in your life? Sometimes watching porn makes me sad because I feel like this, this is gonna be the only interaction I have with a pretty person. With, with, with my penis, I mean. And here's the random thing of the week. So here's a guitar made out of Red Bull cans. And I mean, it has a lot of practical uses, like, uh, like, like being a guitar made out of Red Bull cans. So last episode, I recommended some music, and this episode, I want to recommend something for you to watch. I make YouTube videos, obviously, but that stems from me being a huge YouTube fan. Like, I love to watch YouTube a lot. And the YouTuber I want to suggest to you today is none other than Shane Dawson. I mean, not that he needs my promotion. I mean, he has millions of subscribers, and uh, I, I don't even have um, a thousand. But I feel like a lot of people who watch my videos don't really dabble into the YouTube world too much. They just like watch it because they know me in real life or something. I've been a fan of Shane Dawson for years. I've seen many iterations of his style of video because he's changed them over the years. And right now, I think he's at a point where he's making the best videos he's ever made. He's come a long way, he's done many, many different things, but lately he's been doing docu-series and they're so well shot and edited and like really just 
fascinating to watch. Like the content he's making these days, it's almost like, uh, you know, watching a show on television. Not discrediting YouTube at all, but like that's where the production value is. So I urge you, if you're watching this video and you haven't ever seen Shane Dawson's videos, watch his new stuff. Like he did one not too long ago, an eight part series on Jeffree Star that was really good. Let's just jump into it. Okay. Okay, so racism. Yeah. What do people think you did that's makes you racist? He's currently doing one on Jake Paul. When I started seeing all these crazy things recently of like how insane they are and how they're blowing shit up and how they hate each other and how they're like feuding and I started thinking how much of that is an act? And they're interesting so far and I can't wait to see where it goes. I feel like uh, you will enjoy it too. So definitely check out Shane Dawson. His new stuff is so, so good. And I mean, I've liked a lot of iterations of his videos, but what he's doing right now is my favorite thing that he's ever done. So go check it out. And if you're watching one of his videos, type in the comments, hey, uh, Matt Green sent me here. And he'll be like, who? Well again, I will say, if you've made it this far in the video, then I just want to thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. I love doing this. You know, I haven't done this in a while now, and I missed it every day that I wasn't doing it. I hope you liked the Matt Green Show. This is something that I want to keep on my channel as a consistent series. Back in the day, I was doing just whatever I wanted, multiple kinds of videos. It was sort of a crapshoot. You never knew what you were getting. So I want to kind of hone that in and do like, you know, maybe one, two, or three types of videos and keep it at that so you know that if you come here, you subscribe here, then you know what you're getting. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Matt Green. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my shit.